Do you think changing your look is a good thing? Yes, I can't deny that changing for a better appearance is what people should do. But don't abuse plastic surgery or you will face serious health problems later on. Do you think the development of plastic surgery is a positive or negative trend? It's more a positive trend, I guess. Thanks to plastic surgery, people who think they don't look good can now make themselves more attractive. Do you care more about your outlook or inner soul? As for me, the inner soul does matter more, although outside appearance is important, too. What is a part of your face that you wish to change? Although I have some imperfect parts, I have no wish to change anything. I love the natural appearance my parents gave me. What success did you achieve? I don't know if it matters to someone or not, but passing the entrance exam to university was a huge success for me. When did you get that success? I got it six years ago. It's been two years since I left university. Was there anyone who supported you? My family supported me a lot. My mom prepared good meals for me, while my dad helped me with hard math problems. Was it hard to get that success? It was hard for me since I wasn't good at academic subjects at all. What were some difficulties in achieving success? The period before the exam was quite stressful. I was so obsessed with it that I had a serious headache. How did you get it? I stuck to books day and night. I just stopped reading and writing when I felt I knew thoroughly about the matters. How did you feel when you were successful? I was over the moon then. I was looking forward to campus life. How did your life change after that success? I had a chance to learn my favorite major at my desired university and then got a high-paying job in an active working environment. What is your key to success? I don't particularly have any key to success. Just work hard and try your best. Everything good will come to you. How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family. My father, mother, brother, sister, and me. Does your family live in a house or an apartment? We live in a house in the countryside. What does your father do? My father is a doctor. He works at the local hospital. How old is your mother? She is 40 years old, one year younger than my father. Do you have any siblings? What's his or her name? Yes, I do. I have one elder brother, David, and one younger sister, Mary. Are you the oldest among your brothers and sisters? No, I'm not. I'm the second child in my family. What is your mother and father like? My father likes playing football, and my mother likes cooking. Do your parents let you stay out late? Of course not. They always ask me to get home before 10 p.m. each night. Do you stay with your parents? Right now, no. But I used to. Does your family usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. My mom always prepares delicious meals for us. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurant do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli and convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, Be Smart. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive, just around $5 for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once, when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. 
What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? I read books at home, sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300-page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Is there any bookstore or library in your area? Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. How many places have you traveled to? I visited all the provinces throughout my country. Who do you usually go with? I often go with my family, sometimes with my best friends. What's your favorite tourist attraction? That would be Venice City in Italy. I love riding the gondola along the canals while watching Italian people live their daily lives. Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. What language do you use when traveling? English, but sometimes I have to use body language since not all people are good at English. What do you usually do during your trip? I often go sightseeing, take pictures, mingle with the local people, and sample the local cuisine. What do you do to prepare for your trip? Before the trip, I search for information about the location, weather, famous tourist attractions, transportation, local cuisine, and prices on the internet. What do you usually bring when you travel? I usually pack my suitcase with some necessary items, such as clothes. Medicine, food, a map, and a camera. Do you prefer traveling by car, train, or plane? I prefer planes, although it can be a little expensive. Planes are much faster than any other mode of transport. Do you prefer traveling alone or joining a guided tour? I love backpacking with my friends who share the same interests as me. What type of websites do you often search for? It varies depending on my goal. I prefer entertainment and education websites such as Facebook.com, Wikipedia.org, and VOA Special English. How long have you been using them? I have been using these websites since I was a freshman at university. What do you visit those websites for? I use them to study online or relax after working. What's your favorite website? I think it's probably YouTube.com. Can you read websites in English? Yes, I can. Most useful websites are written in English. What's the most popular website in your country? I'm not quite sure, but I guess it would be Facebook.com. Do you think the youth should use websites as a reliable source of knowledge? Not always. They should choose their sources carefully. Have you ever been in a traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family inside the car, and me. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? I was walking, so I did not require any car repair services. Did you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Did you report the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others. The best way are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights, and stay in the appropriate vehicle, pedestrian lanes. Did you have a happy childhood? Yes, I did. I enjoyed playing hide-and-seek with my peers. 
Did you experience your childhood in a city or countryside? I spent my childhood in a rural area where I could see vast rice fields. Did you usually skip class when you were a child? Yes, I did, and many of my friends did too. Who were you with when you were a child? I was with my beloved family. What did you want to be when you were a child? I dreamed of being a fashion designer. Who did you love the most when you were a child? I loved my mom the most, since she was always there and took care of me. Who was your childhood hero? Robin Hood. He took money from the rich and gave it to the poor. What reminds you of your childhood? Green rice fields, which I happen to see everywhere, remind me of my beautiful childhood. Did you change a lot when you grew up? Yes, of course. I'm more mature now, both physically and mentally. Why is childhood important? Because it shapes people into who they will become. How many rooms are there in your house? There are six rooms: a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen.